Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're tackling another hands-on digital forensics project. This time, we're going to calculate hash values using FTK Imager Lite to see how even a small change in a file can alter its digital fingerprint. Let's dive right in. First, plug in a USB drive and create a new folder called hash project on it. Once that's done, open Notepad. In a new text file type, this is a test of hash values. One definition of a forensic hash is that if the file changes, the hash value changes. Now save this file as hash test.txt inside the hash project folder on your USB drive, then close Notepad. Next, let's open FTK Imager Lite. If you get a user account control message, click OK or Yes. Once FTK Imager Lite is open, click File, Add Evidence Item from the top menu. In the Select Source dialog box, choose Logical Drive and then click Next. Now in the Select dialog box, select your USB drive and click Finish. In the upper left pane, expand your USB drive and keep expanding until you can click the Hash Project folder. You should see hash test.txt in the upper right pane. Right click the file and select Export File Hash List. Save this file as original hash.csv inside the hash project folder. FTK Imager Lite will generate a CSV file containing the hash value of hash test.txt. Now let's make a small change to the file and see what happens to the hash value. Open Notepad again and load hash test.txt. Add just one extra letter anywhere in the text. Save the file and close Notepad. Reopen FTK Imager Lite and repeat the steps to add your USB drive as a logical drive. Navigate back to the hash project folder, right click hash test.txt, and export the hash list again. This time, save it as changed hash CSV. Now let's compare the hash values. Open both original hash.csv and changed hash.csv in Excel or any spreadsheet program. You'll notice that even though we made a tiny change, the hash values are completely different. That's the power of forensic hashing. It ensures that any alteration, no matter how small, is detected. And that's it. We've successfully demonstrated how hashing works in digital forensics. If you found this tutorial helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and drop a comment below with any questions. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.